Good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, it's gonna be a short little video. Um, and it's regarding the gear that I that I bought, um, or part of the gear that I bought. Um, and as we all know, in the motorcycle scene, safety, key. Um, so your gear is paramount to your safety. So, you know, and, and when you just starting out, can't really not everybody can afford to buy the, the latest and the greatest and and buy the top of the line stuff um because when i started out a year ago i'm still a rookie when i started out the helmet that i bought was um it's called a built vertex and um decent helmet for the price i paid like a hundred and something bucks for that helmet so it wasn't um what you would call a, a, a premium helmet you know it was just a good starter helmet, you know, to go through the MSF course. And of course, after I went through the MSF course, I was like, you know, let me keep using it and see. But um, I changed that helmet because the guy that, at that, that, that the, uh, the the gear shop, he um, he sized me too big. Cause the helmet that he sold me is a, is a, is a three, was a three X, is a three X helmet. And in Maryland, when you purchase a helmet, you walk out the door, you put it on, there's no return. I don't know if, that, if that's how it is everywhere else, but in Maryland, when you put up, put your helmet on and buy it, you can't return it. And then another thing that I didn't really like with that helmet was it was a little too heavy. Like you could feel it weighing on my neck, you know, especially when I have my GoPro on the front, it, you know, I could feel, you know, the pressure on my neck. So that kind of took a toll. So. I decided to upgrade my gear, my helmet, and I decided to upgrade it with this new helmet. And here it is, folks. This is the helmet I upgraded it with. This is a HJC R411 Pro. And um, as you can see, I have the uh, mirror tint on there. It's kind of, it's kind of like gold, red, and it changes colors, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and this is considered a premium helmet. You know, obviously it's not like a AGV a Pista or whatever that helmet is called. That's like 1700 bucks. Um, but it's, it's a major upgrade from what I had. Um, and I like this helmet a lot because it has a lot of options as far as visors um it has the the pin lock on here so it's easy to interchange your visors you know and the cushions are very nice as well and and another thing the main thing i like with this helmet is lightweight it's it, like i could feel the difference with this helmet you know riding for long extended rides you i could feel the difference with it, it you know it, it's not it don't put all that stress on my neck like i mentioned before um they have a lot of vents. It is DOT and um, let me see what it is. It's DOT and um, it's another thing, DOT and ECE approved. There you go, DOT, ECE approved. My my Vertex, my built Vertex was only DOT. Um, so this is DOT and ECE approved. Um, yeah, they have a lot of vents and stuff like that. Another thing I didn't like with the built vertex helmet was visor options. They did not have any visor options and I can't stand it because I don't like riding with clear visors in bright sunlight. You understand me? It, it you know, for obvious reasons, you need something to block your eyes or, or to block some of the sunlight from getting your eyes so you could see better. And you know, what they told me at the, at the gear shop was the reason for that was because the helmet was fairly new and they hadn't, you know, come out with any visors yet. Didn't make sense to me because majority of people who have helmets, one of the first things they do to their helmets is usually change the visors out to a, a tinted visor or something along this line. They call them iridescent visor. That's one of the first modifications people do to their helmets. So it, it didn't make sense to me. So I decided to go with this helmet it's like i said it's very lightweight it's a premium helmet um as you can see i have my chin mount gopro chin mount 
And another thing I like with it is, let me put it over here carefully. They have like the little chain guard and these cushions are very soft. They're very soft. It's very comfortable to wear for long periods. Um, and inside, like I said, it's it's very, I don't know, it, 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 I could feel the difference with the, with the cushion quality versus my build. And this is not really a comparison video comparing two helmets because obviously you can't really compare a $100 helmet to an almost $500 helmet. Oh, well, I guess you could, but in this case, it's not a fair comparison because this is obviously better built. So, but like I said, the main thing I like with this helmet over my built helmet is the options for visors. And this thing is super lightweight compared to my build helmet. So, you know, I know a lot of people have their own preference and this and the, the guy that sold me this helmet at the cycle st store, he told me it's not necessarily, you know, the name brand, so to speak, is what fits you best. Because I was looking at other helmets as well. Um, one of which was a Shoei, um, a Rai, you know, to name a few. And, um, you know, obviously my budget didn't really allow me for, uh, you know, an Arai helmet yet. But, you know, this was a good alternative. You know, it's, it's a premium helmet, it's budget friendly. It gives me options. The pin lock is a good feature because I could swap my, my visors out on the fly, like literally, you know, three seconds, you know, you know, three to three to five seconds swap with your visor and, and you're on the running again. So, you know, um, like I said, it's a short video. Didn't want to make it too long. You know, if you guys enjoyed the video and um, I'm going to do some more stuff and, you know, some more gear that I buy and, um, you know, put them up there, put them up on YouTube and, you know, I'm actually going to get ready to go riding right now. Yeah, I'm about to uh, head out, um, you know, get a little bit of riding in the weather. It's, it's like about 50 something degrees right now. So it's decent, you know, sun is out. I'm gonna go out, take a nice little stroll. But um, um, oh here, just pick this up. My Alpine Star jacket. Um, before I had a, I think it's called Roadmaster. I bought it from the Harley Davidson store. Nice jacket, but it's like mesh. And when I rode in the, uh, in the, you know, when it's a little bit chilly at night, you know, because the mesh, it would definitely, you would feel the cold unless you have on like another jacket underneath or something like that. So I picked this up. It's, 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 it keeps me warmer better because it's like the leather, the, the, the wind doesn't go through the leather, obviously. Um, and, you know, so little by little, I'm upgrading my gear. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to go take a little ride. Didn't want to make this video too long. And that's just the main reason why I, um, not really ditch my, my, my built helmet. I'm just going to keep it as a reserve. But that's the main reason why I went. And I after I bought a helmet, I had it for a little while. I was like, you know what? I need a better helmet. And that's why I went and picked up the HJC Alpha Pro. Very good helmet. Lightweight. Have a lot of options in terms of visors that I just showed you. You know, the pin lock features is, is great as far as I'm concerned. And um, what else can you ask for in a decent helmet? Cushion is nice. Fit snug as it should. You know, it's supposed to protect your neck and have the uh, emergency release cushion. So in, in case of anything ever happened, they could pull those cushions out, get the helmet off of you without causing further damage. You know, whatever. Hopefully none of us ever have to utilize those features, but it's there in case you, know, you need it. So, you know, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the little small video. Um, um, I guess just, uh, you know, like subscribe share you know what i mean and i'm gonna try to do some more videos as soon as i can you know it's busy out here it's adult in life it's uh it's hectic so you know but stay safe out there y'all take it easy peace